What is up guys welcome to your fourth tutorial and today I'm going to be going over user input. Alrighty let's get started. So lately we've been storing values inside of variables like this int x equals 4 or and then semicolon. So there's another way that we can actually store variables and that's actually by asking for user input. The way we do this is we leave x empty and then we close it off with a semicolon and then let's display a message letting the user know that we want them to enter a value. So let's put c out, enter a value, and then end the line. Now what we're actually going to do is c in. So this is going to take user input and notice how the arrows are going to be going towards the variable x. That is because we're in C out we're actually displaying this onto the screen which is C out. And in C in what we're actually doing is we're taking user input and storing it in the variable x. So now let's see if it actually worked like if this is actually storing it in the variable x. So now we're going to print the value of x and just so we know and it's not as confusing let's write a line of code in here that says the value of x is close it off and let's put a space here so this is going to say the value of x is and then whatever x is it's going to display it onto the screen so let's build the solution and start without debugging enter a value uh, let's say 25 and there we go the value of x is 25 and now we do a quick real a quick replay of it we told the computer hey we're gonna store a value inside of a variable so make sure you have some memory and then here we told we just bas basically printed this onto the console screen and then here we store the value of 25 into it when we press enter. And then this immediately just shoots. And then the value of x is 25. Now, obviously, we don't only, we can't just only do this for integers. We can, this works for strings, for double, for anything. So just to prove it to you guys, I'm going to do a string really quick enter a value or in, instead of enter a value I'll put enter a word the word x is now this really doesn't matter the only thing that really matters is what type of variable it is that's going to determine what you can really store when you get user input so let's start with build it and start without debugging enter a word let's put hi the word x is high and there we go we now know that we can store stuff by using user input and that's it for this tutorial next tutorial I'm actually gonna be going over what is all of this stuff and another fancy trick what functions are